All right, here with uh, BTSU Gymnastics head coach, uh, Kerry Turner. Uh, coach, we have two huge meets coming up this weekend, uh, one in Toledo and uh, one right here at Anderson Arena. Uh, tell us your thoughts uh, about the upcoming schedule. Well, we've got the double weekend coming up and Friday night, uh, Elevate the Stage is such a unique opportunity because we will be competing on the podium, uh, which would look similar to what you'd see you know, at the Olympics or a telev televised gymnastics meet um, where that, the events are actually raised off the ground and uh, really highlights the gymnasts and the competition and it will be great for the fans coming out to to see that. And then we'll be returning home to Anderson Arena on Sunday facing Ohio State and Central Michigan. A uh, big opportunity for us to continue to build on the scores we've been achieving this year. So all five teams uh, that uh, we're facing this weekend are ranked in the, I believe in the top 36 um, or uh, top 37. Um, Michigan's number six, Denver's number 12. Central is the top team in the MAC right now. Uh, so obviously a very challenging weekend in terms of competition. Uh, how is the team responding to that? You know, I think they're really focused on us. We, we had a big meeting after our last meet, just talking about making sure we're really staying on track with our goals and not getting you know, really distracted with the level of competition that we'll see this weekend. I mean, if anything, you want to rise you know, to the challenge, but the only way we can do that is, is focusing on our own gymnastics and really trying to get each, each gymnast to perform at her very best and then use those scores to accumulate, you know, an outstanding team score. And, you know, we really are trying to strive for that 196 mark, and hopefully we can do that twice this weekend. So you're actively trying to de trying to depressurize the, the situation, especially with Friday night. I mean, being on the podium against two top 12 teams, that, that has to be uh, uh, something that's going to be on their mind. Yeah, I think a little bit, but, you know, we've seen Denver already this year, so, you know, this will be our second time seeing them. They're a very strong program. Uh, we've seen Utah State already once this year. Uh, Michigan will be a new team to us. Um, but, honestly, those teams don't affect what we do gymnastically, so the goal is just to not um, make it bigger than it really is. The gymnastics is the gymnastics, and they need to focus on doing what they can do, and, and they've done a good job with that this year, so I think they'll continue to do it this weekend. So, of course, on Sunday, a uh, big adjustment of the lineup uh, with Giovanni East uh, going in on bars uh, yeah. for her first time, and uh, she scored a 92.5, uh, had a 39.4 in the all-around, uh, the fourth-best uh, score uh, in BGSU history. Um, I mean, what have you seen from her in you know, making the adjustment to, to that new event? Yeah, I mean, we, we were trying to get Joe ready on bars, just like we're trying to get several athletes ready on many events, um, because you just you never know in gymnastics. And Joe has made some very good strides. And, you know, I know um, associate head coach Jason, who works with the bars, looked at her in the eye and said, do you feel ready? And she said yes. So she went out there and absolutely hit that routine beautifully and continued to hit her routines really all 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 afternoon on Sunday and what a what an awesome all around to get your first time out as an all arounder fourth best in um, school history so Joe's a competitor and we know that um, but Joe and our staff know you know we need our whole team to do their job and our focus is is certainly on the team doing their very best all right thanks a lot coach thank you